Hello and good afternoon lovely ones. So I usually do these lives in the morning, Monday to, th Monday to Thursday, but today I had an appointment with my little boy so I have found the time which is awesome just now to be able to to be able to do this live and today's topic is an extra specially yummy one. So <clears throat> While we are embracing our sensitivity as our superpower and we're really getting on board with with like to caretaking being the caretaker of our well-being and really like nurturing ourselves through our practice and moving into that that place of being good with being vulnerable so that we can have those intimate relationships being uh, really supported so we can call in the abundance that we're looking for and really being on that path, that path that we're on to um, to really bring more love and more compassion into the world around us. While we're on that path, it is inevitable that speed bumps are going to happen. And today what I want to talk about is how to get back on track when you hit one of those speed bumps and why speed bumps aka growth opportunities aka massive pains in the bum are really really good things so we're we're on this we're on this journey so you're on this journey to bringing more joy into the world you're um you're in a place of calling in more intimacy and more abundance in your life and you're really kind of you're on it you're having your practice you've got your self-care you're really looking after yourself and then a speed bump happens um, and I'll do another um, another live about about specifically about speed bumps and our triggers and things like that. But today I want to focus on what how to get back on track when they do happen and why it's a good thing that they do happen. So my first tip is when you hit something or something something appears that feels really challenging and is causing you to maybe pull away. So let's take a specific example. So say for example you are calling in more intimacy and connection in your personal relationship. So you are doing your practice, you're setting your affirmations, you're journaling around it, you're visualizing, you're doing you're doing the work to to bring that in and you're also opening up communication with your partner and you are all in and committed to, committed to having that intimacy. And then what happens? Perhaps you guys have an argument and you think, oh my God, what the hell is going on? You know, why am I calling all of this in? Why am I doing this work when things like this are happening? Like we're having these arguments and they're causing me to feel X, Y, Z. Well, the first thing I would say to you is, is be really appreciative that, that you're aware enough that you're noticing this speed bump is happening. Because a lot of the time, a lot of the time, people don't notice these things happening. And they think, oh my God, you know, it's just the way my life is. And if this is good, then this can't be good. And if this is going right in my life, then, this, then that can't go right. But actually, when you're on this path and you're owning your sensitivity as your superpower, you're really connected, you're really, um, you're really asking to live the desired life that you want to be living, you are aware enough that you know, okay, this is happening for a reason. So this speed bump is happening for a reason. It's it's calling something to me. It's asking me to go back and heal a, heal a story in a little bit more depth, or it's asking me to to really um, to really commit to this, or it's um, it's challenging me because it's taking me to the next level. So there's there's that's where we're we're going to talk about why they're really why speed bumps are really good even though it doesn't feel like it at the time. So you, you've got that level of awareness, so that's brilliant. So when it happens, really love on yourself. So really give yourself so much appreciation and acknowledgement for noticing that that is coming up for you. The second thing I would suggest to you is allow yourself to feel whatever the hell you're feeling. So like whatever feelings are coming up when you're having that speed bump, that contraction, that growth opportunity, allow yourself to feel it. As a sensitive, heart-led woman who has got huge superpowers and a whole lot of love and joy to bring into the world, the worst thing you can do is try and pretend that that's not happening. The moment you try and push it away or move away from it is the moment that real that, that you can really start to, to, to become disconnected again. You can really start to move away from your big why. You can really start to notice things kind of unraveling. 
So the brilliant thing is at any point, you've got the opportunity to make a different decision. At any point, you have got the opportunity to take a deep breath and remember that you choose to respond with love. So you can give yourself as much time as you need to feel whatever you need to feel, allow it to be there, and then allow yourself time to move up, to move past the attachment to that. Because that's where things start to go funky for us, when we start to attach to the feelings rather than be with them and then just gently let them go. So there's a whole heap of um, forgiveness and release work and surrender work, and I do loads of this personally in my own practice. Um, and also working with clients. And it's so, so important that you're constantly and continuously committed to clearing up your side of the street. So always looking at how you can clear and surrender and release and forgive. Um, so yes, yeah, so you're in a place of, of, of doing that forgiveness work. Then you can start to, to really look at why this is coming up for you and why it's a good thing. So that's when it moves to when we can see why it's good for us to have these speed bumps because it does bring in a certain level of um, it does bring in a certain level of growth for us which is always good and, and growth does feel painful because when we're moving out of a comfort zone it hurts it really freaking hurts so we are looking at always looking at how we can practice the most the most amount of unattachment and fill ourselves up constantly with what we are looking for with love and appreciation and respect and value and that comes from how you show up for yourself with your self-talk with your practice with your self-care with the people that you spend time with this is all things that i went through um, in my recent training session using your sensitivity as a superpower and um, this is really really important that you're able to really know what it is that fills you up because when you're going through a growth opportunity or a retraction um, or you're experiencing something that feels like a massive pain in your ass you need to make sure that you are really looking after yourself okay so yeah really loving on yourself really appreciating yourself for noticing the speed bump giving yourself the time to feel into what's coming up for you, knowing that you're not going to attach to that, you're going to respond with love when you're ready. And then and then going into a place of um, of surrender, so you're releasing, so you're not holding on to, to, to whatever the feelings or the situation is bringing. Um, and instead you then move into appreciating the speed bump for the, the, the level of growth that it's going to bring you, the fact it's going to take you somewhere else. Um, and just a couple of um, practical tips that I'll share on that before I sign off for today. And that is you can get your journal out and, and when you, well, like I said, when you've done that release work, when you've done that surrender work, when you've given yourself the opportunity to, to feel but not attach to whatever's come up for you with that speed bump, then you can journal, why am I grateful for this situation? What is this situation bringing to me? And something else that is really, it really accelerates, um, it really accelerates you um, growing and expanding is what do I appreciate about myself from the situation? So it might be that you, that you chose to respond with love rather than react to, to, to the speed bump. Or it might be that you gave yourself the opportunity to be with that. Or it might be that you reached out and you asked for support and that allowed you to really receive um, the the kind of the guidance and the, the, the direction that that speed bump has brought so you can get back on track. And of course, it's just always, always awesome to remember that speed bumps will happen no matter what. And they do bring gold to you. And the more you can make friends with that and be cool with that, then the easier, uh, well, not the easier, but maybe the more graceful the transition can be. And it can definitely feel a lot more joyful and a lot more peaceful. So um, I loved hanging out with you today for this session. If you have got any comments at all, please let me know. Please share your ahas. Come on over to the Soul Confidence Group where I can support you further and you can share uh, any insights that you've had from this. If you know any sensitive superstars who would love, um, who would love some nuggets of um, of advice and support to 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 help them on their their journey, then please do share this video and I will see you soon. Lots of love.